Switching gears tonight, Spokane police are releasing more details in a deadly shooting of a 35 year old man at his home back in January. Last month, the county prosecutors announced the officer was justified in using deadly force. Crime News Amanda Rowley shares the body camera video and 911 calls from that night. In January, Spokane police responded to calls from neighbors saying someone was firing their gun. In the end, Officer Brandon Rankin shot and killed 35-year-old David Novak at his home on West Montgomery. Police believe the suspect was armed with a gun, but all they found at the scene was a bat. Today, Spokane police presented 911 calls and body camera video from three officers on that night. He's shooting at us. We were just outside talking. Then he called us. According to a radio dispatch timeline, the 911 calls came in at about 10:24 p.m. Several minutes later, an officer said he had just heard a shot. <laughs> Shortly after, Rankin and another officer arrived on scene. Officers announced shots were fired at about 10 p.m. before Novak walked into the home. Rankin identified himself as the one who fired the shot. That was me, that was me. Another officer said that Novak fired a shot. He fired a shot for sure. I saw smoke over by the house. Captain Brad Arliss says Officer Rankin reported hearing gunshots when he arrived on scene. I asked why we could not hear anything sounding like gunshots prior to Rankin firing his weapon. So you can't actually hear the sound that I think that you're referring to in his uh, body camera video, but in Officer Benish's, you can clearly hear a sound prior to Officer Rankin shooting. This is Officer Benish's body camera. We can hear a distinct single gunshot, then shortly after, Officer Rankin's voice saying, that was me. Listen for yourself. Yo, stop, stop right there! 620 your address. Wait, cover! Is that us or that? Police say the suspect's toxicology report came back with a blood alcohol level of 0.27, but no drugs in his system. They say they found a receipt for five double vodkas that might help explain Novak's level of intoxication. Chief Craig Meidel says they have not yet completed the internal investigation. He says the next step will be an investigation by an administrative review panel. Then, their findings will transition into the hands of a deadly force review board. The board will examine what could have been done differently and provide its recommendations.